So this is the DX2 battery powered camera from BG Angel. This was sent to me to review, so let's check it out. Got a nice uh, template here, sticker template for uh, the mounting plates, manual, solar panel manual. This is, here's the solar panel right here. It's got a quarter 20 mount on the back and a pretty long wire. So you can mount the panel uh, at a separate location from the camera, which is nice because you can keep the camera out of the sun in a lot of cases. Here's a ball joint mount, another mounting bracket here, USB-C cable, a couple of bags of screws for the mounting brackets, and here's the camera. So this is a motorized camera. So this is the mount for the camera right here. Yeah, it looks like a little twist lock type deal. There we go. So it's got uh, mounting holes on the back or the top. So either way, you can mount up or back um, or both probably. If you wanna get it up in the corner of a soffit or something, that'd probably be ideal. All right, so this is wireless because it is being charged with the solar panel. So you don't need to run any power to it. And it's also Wi-Fi, so it's gonna transmit the video wirelessly as well. So completely wireless. Uh, camera system. All right, so let's download the app. This is compatible with uh, iOS and Android. Four and a half stars on the app. That's looking good so far. Peel this off. All right, so we got the app installed. I created an account. We'll click add device. All right, so we'll tap the battery device camera. Hold the device powered button to start the device. All right, so we get some audio feedback and some visual instructions on how to power it on. So if we look at the bottom of the camera, there's this little door here, rubber door, and there's the power button right there. So we'll hold that down and it has turned on. So we have a blinking red light, which is what we should expect according to this image. We'll hit next. We have to give access to the location Please just to- the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. So next we need to reset. Um, which means we need, we need this little poker, this little thing. And according to the manual, this is the reset button right here. So I just need to hold down. So I just need to hold down this button for five seconds. All right. All right, and we got the blinking light again. We'll tap next. Select a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Connect the Wi-Fi. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. All right, and then we need to point the camera at this code and we got a blue light. So I think we're good. We'll hit next. Connecting. All right, success. It's telling me to charge a camera before using it and giving me some installation location tips. Should be seven to 10 feet above the ground, angle about 15 degrees and keep the camera level. Avoid direct sunlight just to uh, prevent glare. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. All right, so it wants me to uh, be where I'm gonna install the camera and do some network diagnostics, which is kind of cool. You know, it's uh, testing, the, uh, uh, testing the, uh, signal. the signal. So it's telling me we have a decent, so have just getting some feedback here. So it's telling me we have a pretty decent uh, Wi-Fi signal and that we're good to install the camera here. Then we can label the installation location and we're done. All right, so I've got the camera temporarily mounted right here. The solar panel plugs in in the back and it's got a big grommet here to seal out water, which is great. So let's go inside and see what this looks like on the app. All right, let's check out the camera here. Gives us a little tutorial and there's our view. So we should be able to change the angle. So just by tapping these buttons here, I'm able to rotate the camera to get a better angle. Slight delay, not too bad. So one thing that's nice about this is you don't have to have a uh, subscription to use this. So if you get an SD card, a micro SD card, you can pop it into the camera and uh, just store your video files locally. So right now I don't have 
a an SD card in there, so it's not recording anything, but I can view this live uh, whenever I want right on my phone. So we can take a screenshot, we can hold to talk um, outside the record function. This I think will record locally on my phone. Yeah, so it's recording this video right here on my phone and motion detection is built in. It does have a light, so you can't really tell right here, but at night um, it would have a light and a siren. So that's basically it. Um, you can see the quality. Let's go to full screen. So you can see the resolution quality here is pretty decent. Um, there's pretty good dynamic range between the shaded areas and the bright areas. So that's pretty good as well. So that was actually the standard definition. Um, I just switched it over to high definition and you can see the difference here. You can make out all the numbers on the uh, storage container I have out there. So the only drawback is you're probably gonna get like a lower frame rate with the higher um, resolution. So if you want a higher frame rate, you can just switch that back to standard definition. So you lose a little bit of quality, but you get a higher refresh rate. So overall, you're getting a camera that is robotic. It can spin around. You can control it remotely from your phone. It's wireless. You don't need any power run to it. It charges with solar. It's Wi-Fi, so it's transmitting the video wirelessly as well. So if you're really looking for that simple installation, this camera is definitely something that's gonna check all of those boxes. All right, so that's my review of this BG Angel robotic security camera.